allow in this tutorial i'm going to explain different kind of formatting here in this excel sheet so why this is important you can see over here here i have put the formatting okay center to center okay when i'm selecting this cell in the bar this is only six okay but in cell i can see six inch center to center what is the benefit of this let me just tell you let's suppose i'm going to find out number of bars that will be equal to span divided by spacing plus one okay so let's suppose span our span is it could be any 30 okay and i'm going to find out here in number of bars equal to and this is span divided by we have spacing over here okay this one and plus one will give us the total numbers okay that are six okay this is fine now again in spacing i'm going to add here six okay again six spacing but right now you can see there is no any kind of formatting we have only six but i'm going to add it over here center six inch okay let me just add it over here six inch center to center okay let's suppose i'm just going to add this one over here again we'll do the same example let's move forward okay and uh, over here equal to and this is span divided by spacing plus one hit enter and you can see the hash value over here because we have not add here the formatting we have add here what uh, six inch center to center without any formatting you can see here as well six inch center to center that's why it is giving us the hash value okay error in formula okay you can see so because of this we will use what the formatting let's use the formatting over here and do the same example over here so how we can do the formatting over here all you need to do is in which cell you want to format okay select that particular cell right click go into format cell and in numbers tab go into custom format this is very important okay and uh, all you need to do is after going here in the custom you can select this one and you can choose your own format or you can create your own format right now which format i want to create i want to create here uh, i want to show here center to center okay with the number center to center so first of all i'll go here and i'll add here numbers because first of all i want to uh, show here the numbers okay it could be one two three four five six any numbers and on that particular numbers i want to show the inches as well these two okay so don't put here double quotes uh, double quotes you can put with the shift key and double quotes key is with enter key okay after enter key we have double quotes you can see so with shift key we can pu put the double quotes but i'm not going to put the double quotes here for the inches i'll only without shift key i'll hit two time that particular okay double quotes key okay but with, without shift key this is very important in order to just show here the inches okay what double quotes are with enter key okay next to enter key we have double quotes and we can put here double quotes with shift key shift and that particular button but here we are going to press two times that particular double quotes without shift key okay in order to put here this the this is basically not the double quotes but the single okay two time i'll just add here in order to show here the inches i'm repeating this again and again because this is very important to understand okay so numbers okay then inches and now it is time to give the space over here and with space i want to show here what center to center c slash c so in double quotes okay i'll just add here c slash c okay that's why i'm not going to put the double quotes over there now how we can put the double quotes let me just delete this one press and hold shift key and with the enter key we have double quotes okay next to enter key so while pressing and holding the shift key what i'll do i'll just uh, press that particular double quotes key okay then i'll add here what center to center what center to center 
so c slash c and again i'll go and add here double quotes okay so this kind of format i want to show over here press ok from here now let's put the number over here any kind of number uh, let's uh, put the number four okay and hit enter so you can see automatically formatted over here four inch center to center so this is basically the benefit of this and when we will add the formula over here equal to uh, total numbers equal to span divided by spacing okay plus one hit enter so you can see here no any kind of error here in this formula because of this formatting okay now next to it uh, let me just put it over here now next to it uh, what i want to do is i want to show one another format over here okay and that is number okay you can see over here we have here number three bar and here i can see only the three that's why i can put the formula over here and that is what uh, we have dia square divided by 24 divided by 2.04 okay without formatting it is not possible to put the formula over here okay so how we can do the format let's suppose uh, where our dia is okay this is three only three and i want to just uh, format and let you know what so right click i'll go here in format cell and in custom format okay again i'll go here and uh, i want to just show here numbers with three four five six i want to show the numbers as well okay so with double quotes i'll put the numbers value again double quotes and then i'll put the number symbol without any kind of double quotes okay so this is basically the number symbol and what you want to do the formatting you need to put that particular uh, thing into double quotes okay so press ok from here and you can see over here the impact 3 and you can see with this 3 we have number 3 okay so this kind of formatting is very important here in this excel sheet especially in this borrowing schedule sheet in whole qs it is very important but here these things are very important to understand if you understand this it is good if not then watch this video again okay and understand this one important one okay when you will create your own bbs sheet okay this is very important okay so you need to do this kind of formatting and without understanding it is not possible to do this kind of formatting okay so number three and now let's suppose if you want to just uh, create same kind of format over here repeating this again and again is not uh, okay good one okay it is a uh, time consuming all you need to do is select this cell and then you can go here in format paint double click over here paint the format over here here and here as well now you will notice the change over here number three okay number three okay so you can paint the format as well so this is how we can do different kind of formatting over here again let me just go here okay you can see the format over here on double quotes numbers because i wanted to keep the format like this okay and then numbers without double quotes so without double quotes we have here and with double quotes we cannot see this is formatted okay so hope you really understand uh, this format video and uh, important to practice this one i'll see you in the next